to the crack. Today, I'll be teaching you all about these veggies. Veggies, yuck! Hey, 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 not all veggies are bad. Maybe once you learn about their benefits and some fun facts, you might change your mind. Ah, uh, fine. Time to take you to school. Let's open this up. Here's everything it comes with. Let's take a closer look at them one by one. This set also comes with a cutting board and a knife. The first veggie we have is a carrot. What's up, Doc? Carrots are really good for your eyes and they slow down aging. A fun fact about carrots is they're originally white and purple, but the growers created the orange carrot in honor of the House of Orange, which is the Dutch royal family. Next up, we have an onion. Oh boy, bring on the waterworks. Onions have been a part of the human diet for more than 7,000 years. It's high in vitamins like biotin, which is good for your hair and nails. Oh, yep, here come the tears. <laughs> Get it together. <clears throat> Shake it off. And this is going to sound a little crazy, but Egyptians used to worship it because they thought it was a symbol of the universe. Oh, check out this cauliflower. White is the most common color, but it also comes in green, purple, orange, brown, and yellow. The green variety is called broccoli flower because it kind of looks like a broccoli. Cauliflower is an excellent source of vitamin C, K, and B. And it's known as one of the healthiest plants on the planet. The next veggie we have is cabbage. Cabbage has virtually no fat and it's high in over 10 different vitamins. And there's at least 100 types of cabbage that grows around the world. Cabbage is a relative to the cauliflower, broccoli, and Brussels sprouts. Like cousins? Yep, I guess you could say that. This veggie is called a string bean. Inside of this pod holds anywhere from three to six beans. String beans are full of fiber and calcium. And not many people know this, but when eaten raw, they can actually be mildly toxic. Uh-oh. But don't worry, as long as you eat a limited amount, you'll be fine. Phew, had me worried. Next up, we have a green bell pepper. Bell peppers are high in vitamin A and C, and they originate from Mexico. A fun fact is that bell peppers have seeds and they come from a flowering plant, meaning... Anyone? Anyone? No. It's actually a fruit. Can you guys think of another fruit that people commonly mistake it as a veggie? Well, you're about to find out. A tomato! Tomatoes also have seeds and come from a flowering plant, which makes it a fruit. There are over 7,500 varieties of tomatoes, but they all have one thing in common. They're packed with vitamin C. Some varieties even have more vitamin C than an orange. No, you're lying. Nope, it's true. Next, we have another fruit, an avocado. Yum! Avocados are packed with nutrition, and they're loaded with omega-3 fatty acids. What's that? Basically, it means there's fat in it, but the good kind of fat. Avocados also contain the most protein out of any fruit. And here's a fun fact that we can all relate to. When you're in your mom's stomach at 16 weeks, you're the size of an avocado. Whoa. I know, right? Here we have a cob of corn. Corn is technically a grain and a part of the grass family. And who doesn't love corn, right? Which is why it's produced in every continent in the world, well, with the exception of Antarctica. Brr, it's way too cold there. And if you're telling me that you don't like corn, I bet you still use it on the daily. Corn is in many non-food items, such as glue, paint, laundry detergent, soap, aspirin, cosmetics, the list goes on and on. Next up is broccoli. If you want something high in vitamin C but don't feel like eating fruit, you should try broccoli. Eating one cup of broccoli has as much vitamin C as an orange. In the US, the average American eats over four pounds of broccoli a year. That's a lot of broccoli. The last item we have is an eggplant. Notice I didn't say veggie. That's because eggplants aren't really a vegetable. They're a berry. What? I know that sounds strange, but it's true. Eggplants are a fruit just like the bell pepper and the tomato. And actually, eggplants and tomatoes are related. Another cousin? Yep, another cousin. Well, this was a lot of fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks!